Michael Leninger, thank you for joining us today. Tell me what an OLED is. An OLED is a light emitting diode, LED, that's made from organic compounds. And when we say organic compounds, we mean literally the small dyes and uh, uh, inks that we use to dye our clothes, to print magazines and that. These same materials, we can make them into an LED, and when we stimulate them using electricity, the molecules give us light of different colors. So this could be used for displays of different products. Exactly. So you can use this for making uh, small cell phone displays, which is currently on the market for making TVs, and for eventually uh, uh, general lighting applications. Now, the results of the research that you've been conducting is quite novel because you're using plastic as opposed to glass that's generally used for these sort of displays. Why is plastic better? So the real advantage of the plastic is that, well, it's first of all easier to manufacture, which is very important to bring the, uh, the costs of organic LED uh, displays down um, so that we can see them in, you know, large area TVs, cell phones, and kind of uh, everywhere. Um, the other advantage is that it gives us different form factors that we've never had before. So we can imagine now that we can make a flexible display, uh, a roll-up display, something that we can take with us. We could, uh, you know, in the future have wallpaper that's roll-up that literally emits light so that our entire living room is a source of light rather than having one point source. Mm -hmm. So how would you go about manufacturing this plastic OLED? So it's actually very simple because, again, these, these uh, OLEDs are made of small dye compounds we, we can literally use the same manufacturing techniques we use to print newspapers. So we can have these large industrial printers and literally run our plastic through these printers and they'll just print all the inks out and uh, all, all, all the different organic layers and then we have our functional device. So how long has this research been in development? So my colleagues have been Wang who really initially pioneered this work. We started working on this together maybe a year and a half to two years ago. And so we, you know, had to investigate a lot of the sort of more fundamental issues that go into a lot of the optical design and the electrical design and kind of understanding how changing different layers in the OLED will affect the end, end uh, performance. And so after going through all that, we've now come to the point where we can put all that knowledge together and then synthesize a very high efficiency device, on the, obviously on a plastic. So what's the next stage or what's the next step in developing plastic OLEDs? So right now, everything's still at, at the lab scale. So we work on very small pieces of plastic, you know, a few centimeters by a few centimeters. Obviously, for industrial production, you want to be working on very large sheets of plastic that are several meters wide by, you know, even hundreds of meters long. And so there's a, a significant work that still has to be done in how we can scale up the techniques we use for manufacturing in the lab to sort of mass production on such a large scale. So is there a time in the near future where I can roll out a TV uh, across my living room? Probably in the next five to ten years, but actually before then manufacturers will, will, should already be starting to produce uh, small organic LED displays on plastic just because it's cheaper. Uh, these won't necessarily be flexible devices. Uh, they'll be uh, on plastic though just because it's cheaper and to lower the cost so we can again see these in more and more products. Mm -hmm. Michael, thank you for your time today. Thank you.